Phantom Blade Zero is the most fun that I've ever had with a Souls-like game. That is a bold claim. We might have a new Souls game on the rise. Yeah, it got paid in full. Um, Let's get into the meat and potatoes. What are you talking about? Um, I headed across the games booth, nervous, but uh, our story begins in a ruined village brought to life with stunning Unreal Engine 5 power graphics. I scale rocks faces with ease and I cuff and I cut off into a ruined house, which my newfound comrades in arms warned me contained a sneaky hidden enemy. Dispatching my foe, I leap towards the wall and thrust my katana into the stone, sliding down while looking awesome. Sounds like there's going to be a lot of style in it. Um, I'm confronted by the demo's first boss who brandishes a mean looking ax. This is my first time to the shrine. Phantom Blade Zero's parry system is intuitive. Hmm, is it comparative to Sekiro? Blue means the incoming brutal attack is blockable and triggers a stylish combat animation, while red means you better get out the way. I'm normally pretty bad at parrying, but the blue and red system makes things a lot easier, and the flashy ghost step animations that position you behind your foe make me want to do it over and over. Yo, shout out to Monkey D. Parry with the sub. I'm not gonna lie, it's fucking hot in my house. Hold up, I gotta cut the air on, bro. Oh my colorblind also the game is not out that we'll have to see when the game comes out um by consistently pairing and dodging i fill up my power gauge which i unleash on the boss as i whittle down his health the result is an explosion of black and red smoke and a flurry of blades as he falls down and my partner and i dissolve into a clamor of exciting giggling perhaps i in fact do this they said it was cool Second person to step up. Despite there being three bosses, he's the one who caused me the most trouble. Commander Cleave is a hulking figure with a jagged, crystalline sword. He's mastered the art of long range, wind like slashes, and he hits hard when he gets up close and personal. The plus is that you can normally push him off and earn yourself a swift backstab because his heavy attacks are relatively slow, so he's easy to punish. Reminds me of an old PS2 game called Buji Guy. It was Kung Fu themed. I've never heard of that. That's a deep cut. Is this an actual Souls-like or a Flintlock? I don't know. I can't tell from the gameplay. It looks more action-based from the trailer. It took me like five or six tries to defeat him. I don't think it's that hard, though, because he says at the beginning of the article that he doesn't like Souls-like games, and if it only took him five or six tries to beat this boss, it's not that hard. Um, Let me see. Is, is there gameplay right here? Why is this shit so ash? Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. This looks like a. This looks like a mix between Sekiro and maybe like Devil May Cry. Like it looks super fast paced. What up, Polo Kid? Yeah, we love a trailer with gameplay. Yeah, this is looking like a day one cop. This is why I said when people were ragging on the state of the play, I was like, it was 30 minutes. What did y'all expect? And also, like, I saw like three games that I liked. This was one of them. And people swear I hate on everything. Oh, he throwing kicks in that hoe? Oh, that's saucy. Yeah, it looks fast, but not too fast.
demo global tool. Oh, there's a tool. There's a demo coming. <laughs> July 12th to the 14th in Shanghai. So it must have been a playable demo. You, you get the point. I knew it would be gas when it premiered last year. The Ninja Gaiden 4 we've been waiting for. Despite my reservations about Souls likes and my concerns over... It doesn't really look like a Souls like though. Concerns over perfect parries. I absolutely love my first time playing Phantom Blade Zero. It's difficult, but not overly punishing. Yeah, I don't think this is a Souls like. I think this is just like an act. We got to stop calling every action game a Souls like. I think this is just a straight up action game. Vibrant yet moody and incredibly stylish. Movement is fluid and flashy. The controls are responsive. And that's what I like to hear. And the vast array of interchangeable weapons open up the room for slick, devastating combos. Couple that with the game's fast-paced yet methodical combat, and I can confirm that whatever Kung Fu Punk it is, I like it and I want more. Yeah, it's like the new marketing term buzzword, but I don't think this is a soul. Because to me, a Souls-like game is, first of all, it's not flashy like this. It's much more methodical. You're much more grounded. You can die easier. And it's all about circling and strafing your enemy and timing the moves. Uh, this is, seems more like it's parrying and, and being aggressive. Uh, this shit don't look very difficult to me. This looks more like an action game. It looks like a normal action game. Probably like Jedi Survivor. So to be correct, any game that has a parrying mechanic is not Souls-like. Got it? Like, fucking Sekiro wasn't the first game to have a parry mechanic in it. Also, Souls-like games don't have that much verticality. Right, that man ran up a wall. This shit is an action game. <laughs> Do people like Rise of Ronin? Seems cool, but won't beat it. Japan loved it. They gave it a 9 out of 10, but North America, they just thought it was alright. I think it's alright. It's like a 7 to me. Just keep streaming to like 11? Man, I ain't guaranteeing nothing. We, we didn't even hit the sub goal last time. Don't tell me when how long to stream. Hey, drop 5 subs in the chat. How about that? Imagine someone called Metal Gear Rising of Souls like, right, right, that shit's an action game. Interesting. Keep your eye on this game. Keep your eye on this game. When does this shit come out? Yo, shout out to FC3 with the sub. Appreciate it. To apologize. Doesn't have a release date. I'm going to assume 2025, though. Uh... Hey, TBH, I've seen you talking about fake black people on Twitter. The 2018 FBI report into Russian bots found that bots were programmed to also argue about sports and games to get past detection as well as another way to package political beliefs. You're definitely right. There are more bots than ever since Elon took over. It's so obvious if... You I feel like it's obvious if you were raised to critically think. You can tell. It's just like certain things people say. I won't be able to tell it from other things because like there are cultural differences. But from a black perspective, it's so obvious. Like people be in the comment section. It's too much DEI shit in our games. And I'm an African-American. So like don't don't put that on. I'm African-American and I agree. This shit is too woke. Matter of fact, we should stop saying this shit because it might give the Russians ideas and shit like that or whoever, whoever's programming these bots. I don't want to put it out on them. It's just certain. I like, I don't know. I ain't never heard no black person saying I'm an African-American. I've never heard that. I've never heard that. It's just like little things you could tell. Like, mm, that doesn't sound like a black person. Like, <laughs> uh, anyway, so that doesn't that doesn't surprise me. Um, got some more info. Splitgate 2 got announced yesterday. We got some more info on it. Um, as a black person, I honestly don't mind racist thing. We got to stop being so sensitive. Right, right, right. I've never heard a black person talk like that. Split gay two. Yeah, they dropped the trailer yes yesterday. It's no gameplay, but we got an article on it. Halo meets Portal indie title Split Gate gets sequel next year. Now with actual Halo veterans on board. Um. But a bit of a Splitgate developer, 1047 Games, has today said it'll launch its sequel. Yeah. Splitgate 2's pitch is clear. All of the above, now with a bigger budget, and it has a much larger roster of veteran development talent, including people who worked on Halo back in the day. The original Splitgate's development was ambitious but scrappy, said the co-founder of 1047 Games. It's not like a rap group. It's not like Gucci. <laughs> the game was created from a dorm room, and the massive success in the community earned surpassed our wildest dreams. Uh, this time around, Splitgate 2 has been designed from the ground up in Unreal Engine 5 to deliver a triple A FPS experience our fans deserve with the series signature action completely overhauled by an all-star team composed of the most talented individuals in the industry. 
Not mincing his words, the CEO goes on to say, this is a revolutionary step forward for competitive shooters. Bold claim. A fresh entry point for newcomers as well as a worthy upgrade from the originals who brought that game. It'll be available on everything, including PC, the Brokey 4, PS5, the Brokey 1, Xbox Series X and S. Um, they're all coming. In the meantime, there's the first episode of the new digital comic. Who cares about a digital comic? Keep your eye on this. I want to see gameplay. I want to see what they're doing different. I want to see what new game modes. But I like Splitgate. I'm a Splitgate advocate. We love to see small developers win. This is what I be talking about when I say this is a good indie game. People hate I people swear I hate indie developers. No, I hate the fact that indie developers are not bound to, to the constraints of their publisher and they choose to make Doom clones and Metroidvania games and 2D pixel art fake deep games about a, a a girl and a fox in the fucking forest. Nobody cares, bro. We're tired of those games. I like this game because it took something and it innovated on it. It took Halo and they said, what would, we ha what would happen if we took Halo and added Portal to it? A simple idea. <laughs> and it was really cool that added a lot of strategy to first person shooters. Unfortunately, Halo Infinite killed it. And for all the wrong reasons. This is what I like to see. So hopefully they do well, even though Hokage Highlight swears I hate on everything. Um, you should be a consultant to those indie companies. I got to build. I got to build a brand up, man. I got to build a brand up. Um, blah, 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 blah. So, yeah, keep an eye on that game. Just a rumor. This is on the gaming leaks and rumors. Uh, Reddit, take it with a grain of salt. There's nothing here. Just a rumor going around that Ubisoft is working on Rainbow Six Siege 2. Um, and it'll be revealed at the 2025 Inventational. No proof other than just some insiders that posted on Reddit. Um, but I'm going to say there's a 50% chance this is real. Just because, like, it's about that time. Rainbow Six Siege came out in 2015. Great game. Played it all the way till like, 2018. I remember we had, like, a little bit of a comeback in 2019 where we played it for, like, a month. But we played it for a three good three solid years. It just ran its course for me like Apex. Doesn't mean it's a bad game. I had enough. Where's the sequel? I'd be excited when they drop a sequel. Gotta test those old man reflexes. Um, where you been, bro? I've been looking for your streams all week. I was live. I was live yesterday, but the rest of the week I was sick. I've been sick, so I've been trying to recover. Are you going to play Katsugami Path of Goddess? I'll get to it probably. I think I got a code in my damn email. So keep your eye on this. See if, there, if there's any other rumors coming. If the skins don't carry over, I don't want it. They probably won't because I'd imagine it'd be running on a new engine. Although it's Ubisoft. They like to asset flip, so maybe not. Uh, Counter-Strike 2 streams win? Never, nigga. That shit is Counter-Strike Go. With a new with, with new smoke physics, I played it already on stream. I'm not a Counter Strike fan. Would a sequel have all the characters though? That's a good question. I would hope they'd have at least all the characters plus new ones. Uh, chat, we gonna put them on. Nobody wants to die. What is nobody wants to die? Somebody brought that up yesterday. Let's see. Hold up, y'all. Uh, let me put, let me get on my main account. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba detective game i'm not i'm good off detective game no i don't want to be a detective unless it's batman i don't want to be a detective nobody wants to die official launch trailer let's see yo shot the yoko with the sub appreciate it having a goal is better than an activity an alternative to focusing on the symptoms and the memories. You liked Alan Wake, though? I'm 120 years I did. You're right. You're right. You're right. I give you that. You're right. And I don't have any strength left to keep recalling the past. You're a goddamn departmental legend. Legend? Alan Wake had action. This don't? Oh, no. More like cautionary. Yeah, straight. If this is just a straight detective game, oh. Fairy tale. I need access. Do you think I don't know why the chief put you on restricted duty? No doubt about it. This case smells worse than a two-week-old corpse in a storm drain. Can I ask you something personal? 
Do you believe in life after death? Well, apparently in the past, City of Immortals. people used to ask stuff like that all the time. Kind of looks like um, Bioshock. The average lifespan was less than 100 years. And now, can we believe in anything beyond this? What if you could choose the bank or death? Interesting art style. Sarah, you there? All those innocent souls. It's no action. It's pretty much a walking simulator. Yeah, I'm good off that. I'm a gameplay first person. Gameplay's got to be there for me. James? No, please. Take you apart piece by piece. Who are you? I've lost visual. You should be thanking. out now i haven't seen really anybody talking about this game um is it beginning good good reviews it reminds me of dishonor for some reason how does this remind you of la noir i think it's kind of like the 50s style i think that's why uh yeah i don't know if that interests me what about suicide squad guys huh mrs freeze huh mrs freeze reveal huh? 